During the reading of the national budget at Kolo recently, the president condemned the high interest rates charged by moneylenders, which has left many Ugandans unable to pay back their loans. The president asked the authorities to look into this matter. We directed the Minister of Finance to cap the interest rates chargeable by moneylenders. The inflation rate in Uganda is 3%. Why should the commercial banks charge 20% interest? How about the money lenders charging 36% or more? This is pure extortion. Now, the chairperson of Money Lenders Association in Uganda, Ben Kavya, says reducing the interest rate is hard given it's a free market economy. But I think the man and the supply will solve this problem without even the Ministry of Finance capping or doing anything. In the same vein, government has directed all money lenders holding national identity cards of borrowers to give them back henceforth. But all the money lenders. All the circles, all the institutions that lend out money should not be holding people's IDs. Because I do not think and agree that a national identity card is a, is a, is a, mortgageable, uh, a mortgageable commodity or item. It is pure identification to confirm the identity of an individual. So I absolutely concur that they should immediately return them and find other alternative uh, securities to, uh, to pledge. Information Minister Dr. Chris Bariomusi says all those who go against the order to return national IDs of their borrowers will face a penalty accordingly. That the person who an keeps or takes possession of a national identification card or alien's identification card that belongs to another person commits an offence and is liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 48 currency points or imprisonment not exceeding three years or both. Ben Kavuya says there is still need for government to train moneylenders as most of them are not registered by the relevant authorities to supervise them. So it is upon government to make sure that they register. Let them extend a hand of courtesy and they register all, all of them. Once they register them, then they will be formally managed. But at, at the moment, it's a bit difficult to manage an informal sector of that nature. Raymond Tamale, NTV.